Hello, welcome to the world of Skyrim. My name is John Pratt, and I'm here to demonstrate my mod, Rebellion and Retribution. This was created as a mod for upper-level players, and it was created to fill what I feel is somewhat of a gap in the game. So, dual-wielding is a concept that the game definitely allows, but they don't really do a whole lot with it. What I wanted to do was create a pair of blades that separately are just normal swords, but together, they're a force. All the assets that you see in this mod were created by Bethesda, but they're all placed by me. So the interiors of the inn here and Kurok Keep were created by myself. They weren't created from pre-existing assets. You can come in here, rent a room, whatever you need to do, get a drink before you head off on your quest. Off to the right, you'll see Danny. Danny is a fully voiced actor, and he will give us our quest. Uh, these actors have been placed here so that the player will always run through them if they're coming through this mountain pass. So you'll see them here. You can pick up the quest and go on your way. As I mentioned, he is a fully voiced actor. Mean? We're not going to listen to everything that he says, but I just wanted to demonstrate it, and then we'll head off to Karak Keep. You, you're the one, aren't you? The Dragonborn. I hear things, and you don't last. Look, inside are the pieces of two ancient blades that my ancestors held long ago. You can't steal. Without that, because I have a bit. Forged by the gods, chances are you'll find them on an altar or some other such nonsense inside the key. Come Need back something. once you've got them. So now that we have our quest, our marker's been updated, we're going to head down to where Kurok is. For simplicity's sake, I've already gone there, so we'll just fast travel there. But normally this is a place that the player will have to travel to. And I've designed its placement so that Players could have walked by this area a hundred times and probably not have found this place. But once they have the quest marker directing them where to go, they should be able to find it easily. And let's head down. This is the portal that will take us to the interior of Kurok Keep. Once we're inside, it won't do too much talking, but we need to collect all the pieces of the Blades, Rebellion, and Retribution. And let's head inside. Alright, so once inside, we have our histories down here on the floor. You can already see our enemies up here. They're waiting for us. But once again, all these assets were placed by me. And let's get the quest underway. I hope you enjoy. Ah! <laughs> 
It should be noted that part of the reason that these Daedra are here, uh, not only to provide an, just another layer of challenge, is that the blades actually do require some Daedra hearts in order to be constructed. So I'm just going to grab a few of those so that when it comes time to actually finish the quest, we can finish out the blades. This is something that's mentioned in the history of Korok Keep and reconstructing the blades. Uh, but it's all for information provided to the player. And with that, we'll actually return to Danny now and finish out our quest. See you in a moment. Alright, now that we've returned to the Randy Bear, let's go over and talk to Danny so we can finish out our quest. Don't worry about it. Do you have my stuff? Excellent. Now just drop your weapons on the ground, and await your reward like a good little stooge. So now that we've finished off Danny, we can collect the final components of the blades. The blades can actually be reconstructed at any blacksmith shop. I'm going to take it to the Skyforge and White Run, just because I feel it's a good place to finish out the quest. And I'll see you there in a moment. 
Here we are at the Skyforge to finish out our quest. Along the way, the players should have gotten everything they need to actually complete the quest. So if we head in, we see we have both Rebellion and Retribution available. Construct one, and the other, and that will finish out our quest. We'll take a look at our inventory. Once again, these blades separately are strong swords, but they're nothing without one another. So when they're equipped together, that's when you actually get to fully utilize their powers, which can be seen here in the description. I hope you've enjoyed my mod, and thanks for watching.